Hello there and welcome back to my channel. We all know back to school season is super busy for teachers. You went to X-Men school too? But thankfully technology has come a very far way and can now be used to save you so much time. So in today's video, I'm gonna share three ways you can use artificial intelligence as a teacher to save hours planning for back to school. Now, there are tons of AI or artificial intelligence tools available online. In this video, we're gonna focus on ChatGPT, which is one of the most popular. If you are not familiar with ChatGPT, it is an AI tool, but it is specifically used to answer questions or complete tasks that require a text response, such as composing an email. All you need to do is visit the website, which I will have linked for you down in the description box, or you can type directly into your browser, openai.com slash chat GPT. You could also do a Google search for chat GPT and it will come right up, trust me. From there, you are going to create an account. Personally, I use my Google account, so it's one less username and password I have to remember. They do have paid versions, but we're gonna be using the free version. From there, you just have to provide an input, which is essentially you prompting the AI tool to answer a question or complete a task for you, such as composing an email but you're also going to see these steps play out as we go through these three different ways you can use ChatGPT to save time during back to school the first way is drafting a meet the teacher letter for families now this is something i recommend all teachers do it's just a letter to introduce yourself to your students and their families but instead of writing it from scratch, you can actually use AI in order to create that skeleton of the letter. Of course, you're still gonna personalize it, but it gives you something to go off of. So with ChatGPT open, you might type something like, draft a meet the teacher letter for a fourth grade teacher to give to families at the beginning of the school year. It will take a few seconds to generate. And of course, you don't have to use every paragraph it gives you. You can kind of pick and choose what you think will work best. You also will see some of those areas that you're gonna have to go in and personalize it. But think about it like buying a greeting card. It still saves you time. You're gonna write a little message inside, of course. Meredith's card. Happy birthday. But you already have the card ready to go. Or in this case, you already have the letter ready to go. From here, you're going to copy and paste that text into a template. Now, you could open up just a basic Google Doc, but personally, I like to fancy it up just a little bit with some borders and clip art. I do have these Meet the Teacher letter templates available for you in my TPT store if you are interested, so those will be linked down below. But by combining ChatGPT drafting the letter and the template, you can have your Meet the Teacher letter ready to go in under five minutes. Now here are two little bonus ideas for you. You can also use ChatGPT to draft an introductory email to families. This would have maybe some of the same information as the Meet the Teacher letter, but it might also have some relevant information going into the first day of school or the first week of school. Just make sure you specify what you're looking for when you prompt ChatGPT to write the email. The second bonus idea is you can also use ChatGPT to translate these letters. Now, of course, if you have resources at your school, teachers that typically will translate materials, I recommend going with them first, but this could be a good backup for you if maybe you need it translated into a more obscure language that isn't readily available. Of course, it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it's better than giving families a letter in English that they're not able to read at all. The second way ChatGPT can save you time going into back to school is creating first week of school activities. Now, of course, ChatGPT is limited, meaning it cannot print and laminate materials for you, but it can do some of the thinking. It could be as simple as typing in, what are some creative ideas for the first week of school? And from there, it might spark some ideas for yourself, but you can also use it to generate examples or lists of things that you can use for activities you've done in the past. Now, if you are looking for ideas for some pretty simple games and activities. Hey, 
game over. I have two videos you should check out. One is specific to kind of get to know you slash team building games and activities for the first week of school. The other one is specific to building classroom community virtually, although a lot of those ideas can be used in a physical classroom as well. So if you're interested in those, the links will be down in the description box. Now, the great thing is most of those activities don't require prep outside of those ideas and examples, which I just mentioned, ChatGPT can help you generate. One of my favorite, very simple games to play with students was This or That, where I gave them two different choices and they would move to one side of the room or the other in order to show their choice. So you can use ChatGPT in order to come up with these different lists. For example, you might type in, create a list of this or that choices for elementary school students. That's gonna give you some very basic ones, but you can always level it up by saying, create a silly list or create a list around a certain theme, and that way you can get some more unique options. I also love doing scavenger hunts with my students, but I always struggle to come up with creative clues for them to find the different areas of the room. From there, I can just put a task card or a question or a prompt that goes with anything we've been learning, but it's the clue part that I struggle with. So you can actually use ChatGPT in order to generate those clues. For example, you might type in, create a list of scavenger hunt clues that can be used inside an elementary classroom. Once again, you may not be able to use all of the clues that it gives you, but you can kind of pick and choose the ones that will work best. The third way you can use ChatGPT to plan for back to school is to batch plan for the entire year. I want you to think about things that you can prep for the entire year and then find ways for ChatGPT to make that easier for you. Here's an example for you. I typically had some sort of a morning meeting prompt for my students to respond to when they came in the classroom. Rather than coming up with them each morning because that gets exhausting and some mornings I just did not have time for that, I can actually prep the entire year of morning meeting prompts using ChatGPT. For example, I might type in, create a list of morning meeting prompts for elementary students for each month of the year. From there, I can just copy and paste the ones I want to use onto a set of slides. Personally, I recommend kind of grouping them by month. So for example, I might have September morning meeting prompts and then October morning meeting prompts. If you are interested in this set of Google Slides, I do have them available as templates in my TPT store. They also include timers and you're able to customize all the text, all the colors, et cetera. So those will be linked for you down in the description box. But using both the template and ChatGPT, you could spend maybe 30 minutes and have your entire year's worth of morning meeting prompts ready to go before the year even starts. You can also use ChatGPT to generate examples or questions. So for example, you might type in, what are some examples of sentences with incorrect capitalization for elementary students? Maybe this is gonna be one of my first lessons of the year, just a quick review from what my students learned the previous year. Once I have those examples, I can copy and paste them into a game template such as Traskiball or even things like Kahoot, but I don't have to come up with all of those examples on my own. I can use the AI to do the heavy thinking for me and then all I have to do is transfer into a template. Once again, that Traskiball template, if you are interested, is available using the link in the description box. One final tip, you might have noticed when you are generating these prompts using AI, ChatGPT gives you the option to share the link to that prompt. So you could always save these links and come back to them later. So you don't even have to do all the copying and pasting. You can just generate the prompts. That way you have those examples or you have those draft emails and then you can easily access them later. Because you made an account at the beginning, you have access to them, but you can also take those links and put them into, for example, your digital planner or your slides that you're gonna use so that they're available for you when you need them. You could also save the links in a Google Doc. I previously created a video where I showed you how to create a unit overview in Google Docs, 
where it has a list of all your different activities and assessments and objectives for that unit. This would be a great place to store links to any of those examples that you've generated or review questions so that you can come back to them later. If you need help setting that up, I do have that video linked for you down in the description box. That is it. Those are just three very simple ways you can use ChatGPT to save hours planning for back to school this year, but I would love to hear your thoughts as well. So leave a comment down below. What is your favorite way to use AI as a teacher? If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.